Hello, today we're going to charcoal grill smoke a lovely 12 pound turkey. Now you have to forgive me, this is my first time voicing over in a video because the initial video I kind of messed up in real time. So, of course, the first thing we are going to do, I'm going to go light up the charcoal. And in my opinion, there's no, you don't grill except with charcoal. You don't gas grill. I just, not a fan of gas grilling. Now, albeit we are using sort of a match like uh, charcoal, but in truth, we should use a very, uh, something that doesn't have light fluid already on it. So we've got the fire going on the char, um, the charcoal. We're actually going to separate the charcoal on the left and the right side and actually put wood chips on there, apple wood chips, soaked in water. Let's go inside, check on the turkey, make sure it's still there because you never know. There it is, and we're about ready to inject it with those lovely spices and lovely sauce. Now, this uh, we do this all over the turkey to keep the meat moist while we're grilling it. The... The flavored sauce is basically a mix of, mix of butter, chicken stock, um, salt, pepper, some uh, Cajun spices that we made up ourselves. And like I said, we just inject it, inject it in parts of the turkey and to keep it moist and also give it awesome flavor. We'll also spice the outside with the Cajun seasonings. We'll put some in the cavity. In the big cavity, we'll put some in the neck cavity. As you can see, we put a couple apples in there. We've tied the legs together and we've tucked the wings. Uh, we've basted it with butter uh, on the turkey, and we'll also do that uh, the entire uh, each time, every hour upon the hour, we'll baste it with butter while it's on the grill. As you can see, the grill is ready to go. We put the wood chips on the coals on the left and the right side, and the drip pan's right in the middle. We'll put the uh, grate on it now, and then pretty soon the turkey will be on this, be on it as well. And there's apple wood chips soaked in water. Each hour, we're going to cook this for three hours. So there we go. We've got it on there, and of course the wings have become untucked, but you know it is what it is. We're going to keep it. As you can see, it's smoking. It's already dripping. The, ju the wonderful juices are dripping already. Cook it. Like I said, we're going to cook it for three hours. We're going to keep the uh, each hour, hours up. We're going to do the left side and the right side with more coals. We're going to put some more wood chips on there each time so we can keep it cooking. As you can see, I'm like, man, the things came untucked. But it is what it is. Unfortunately, since we don't have the we don't have a, um, a, a grill with the sides that open on the left and the right, we we'll actually have to take the entire turkey off each hour. But she's showing that uh, we gotta have the grill smoking sort of perpendicular so the smoke rolls over the turkey while it's cooking. It has now been an hour. We're going to change the coals. We're going to change the the apple wood. Of course, we're going to start the coals there in the chimney to get them ready. And since we don't have a big grill, we actually have to take the we actually had to take the entire 12 pound turkey off and put it uh, put it in this pan there on the left. There it is, and actually take the grate off. Put some more coals on the left, put some more coals on the right, put some more wood chips in there uh, to keep it going. And we'll do this after the first hour and after the second hour. And then, of course, we'll baste the turkey itself to keep the outside uh, from burning, but also keep it moist and give it lovely flavor. So that's about all, we, all you have to do. That's after the first hour, so we'll cook it for another two hours. And put the lid back on there. And then this is what you will get. A lovely, tasty, crispy, tender, awesome turkey. Now, I'm not actually cutting into this right now, but as you can see, the, the outside skin is 
is awesome. This is uh, this is by far the best way I've seen to cook a whole chicken or a whole turkey. Is to smoke, grill it like this. It's better than frying it. It's better than baking it. Um, it's truly the best way. And as you can see, it's really moist. It's tender from us injecting those lovely juiced juices and the Cajun seasoning. Um, we've got other food there. You can see it. Let's get clear here, but it's so moist. As you